Doflamingo, the heavenly demon, CJ the champ. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it mm. is finally it time. It is time for a 42 the minute banger. Anticipated, yet riskiest. Mm. Yeah, toy. Trial of all time. Yeah, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I'm playing press your luck with this one. But Back, right? We do this for the people, nigga. So let's go and go ahead. Paul Woody, Audrey, Duke of Arrakis. I'm sorry. Thought you didn't like the movies. As I said, the second one was good. <laughs> all right. But the first one was trash. Boy, the Back first one was a bad movie. <laughs> get it started. Come and get at a whopping 10 feet. Oh, Jesus! And with so many crimes committed, I can't even name them Jesus. all right now. The Heavenly Demon, Don Quixote do Flamingo. Y'all already mm -hmm. know how this goes. Mm -hmm. The evidence is on deck, ready to be presented. But so go ahead, grab some popcorn or something to snack on. Because without further ado, Exhibit A. <laughs> let's, let's, let's see what you, let's see. Spoilers ahead. Don let's Quixote see, do Flamingo. One of the seven warlords of the sea in the kingdom of Dressrosa. His name is feared throughout all the seas, uh -huh. and his drip. Drip is dripping. Drip is dripping. He dripping. Hey, that's all I'm saying. He really had that on, bro. Huh? Out of everybody, out of everybody, you know, you got Mihawk. Me and it was pink too. Mihawk be having that on, but my boy. Mm-hmm. Don't flow drip off. <laughs> Don't flow drip off. Don't flow drip off, bro. But how did the heavenly demon become one of the biggest kingpins in the world? Well, we have to go back a good 33 years in the past. Yeah. Now, Doflamingo was a celestial dragon. Now, if you don't know what a celestial what dragon is, I need to explain. These are the world nobles, AKA mm -hmm. the biggest cats in the fucking world. Ooh. Brother, ooh. Brother, I mean, come on, bro. Ooh, they ain't even hiding disgusting. it. Look at them. They literally have on their heads. They're Kids, For sure. Look at that. <laughs> Alfalfa ass, jack jack ass shit on their head. Now, Saint Homing, Doflamingo's father, decided one day, everybody, I have an announcement to make. I would like to go live with the peasants. Huh? For me. Now, this is a very big deal. Why would because he do the such? Don Quixote think... family are world nobles living in the holy land of Marijuana, basically motherfucking Beverly Hills. And yeah. Don Flamingo's dad decided, I want to go live with the regular niggas. Is he, he born? basically is he, he born he, or he, something? He, no, no, he, he's rich. That nigga basically said, I want to move from Beverly Hills to Compton. I want to go where the gangbangers at. Out of boredom or just out of? You about to find out. Okay. Or menace. Menace. It ought to be yeah. a menace. No, uh, no. Oh, okay. You're about to see. Because why not? And this is some. That's it? Because he just wanted. He just wanted to. He was definitely bored. Uh, he hey, was definitely hey bored. they're shooting in a hood. I think that's great entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching the black kill. Do. Because everybody <laughs> hates celestial dragons. Because they enslave people. Yeah, they're he definitely assholes. wanted something to they do. They don't even consider themselves human. Because yeah, they thanks. are the top of society. So the whole family ends up leaving and giving up their celestial dragon status. And obviously, Lil Delphi wasn't f***ing with it. Bro was already Crazy complaining. Word. Lil nigga was like, Daddy, where are the slaves? And why do I have on this peasant clothing? Oh, calm down, son. We're going to be living <laughs> a simple, peaceful life now. Some bullshit. Now, it's very clear that Doflamingo's dad doesn't have an ounce of evil in his body. Like the other celestial dragon. But Dof! I'm sorry. I mean, he was might as well call was... him Young Dolph, cause man, hey, he was raised around it. You can Dolph. see he already tripping. It's, he's a simple man, but an ignorant one, and he was Facts. about to get hit with a reality check. So the next boy, day, he couldn't him catch and him walk into town. So his dad walks up to the vendor and says, "I want to buy some apples." So the vendor's mm -hmm. like, "Oh, tally home, brother. You must be new here." But this dumbass nigga ends up saying, "Oh yes, me and my family are from Marie Wall." No. You what? So everybody's no. shooting like, what the fuck? If you from a region, you a celestial dragon, ain't you? Uh, and this dumbass nigga is ignorant. like, oh, oh, no, no, no. We we used to be celestials, but we're human now. And then it didn't help that double. He said that? And it was like, no we, we just no. like y'all. We just like y'all, bro. That's, it's, it's, it, it's, you know what it's like? You know what it's like? <laughs> imagine, imagine you a white man. Right. right, 801 credit score. Mm -hmm. Right, your brother is a slave owner. Not only just a slave owner, he like the head of the clan. Right, uh -huh. 
right? And he keep all the slaves in the quarter. And he's like, you know what? I want to go live there with them. Live there with them. And, and then, when you go there, they're like, are you a half breed? Like, what are you? And you're like, nah, but my brother own y'all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he like, but don't worry. I'm a slave now. No, what? no, bro. No. Cause, cause he, bro, I'm waiting for Harry thick ass to come save me. And you in here? Yeah, Harry had Why that. Why you threw that in there? Okay, we just going to move on. Harry Why you threw that in there? That was crazy. going off on everybody. <laughs> calling everybody peasants and shit. So that he, was cooked. Okay. Because later that night, he they burned down their damn house. They is trying to kill these Why the house so big? Salem witch trials type shit. Find the Celestials and burn them. So they end up running for their life for days. Because a dumbass daddy was so fucking ignorant. Thinking that a celestial ignorant. dragon could live with regular people. That's and like, uh, <laughs> that's like, um, what's the old buddy name? The real estate dude. White dude, gray hair, was buying jets. Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone and his damn daughter. She said, well, I'm going to be a millionaire by the age 20. And here's why. She's like 15. And it's because she worked for Grant Cardone's company. Making fifty grand a year at fifteen, and she can't spend nothing she earned. She can only spend the profit on the real estate that she got. And Grant told me, "Here's why every fifteen year old, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Here's why every fifteen year old should do with like get real estate. Talking about, talking about earn three hundred, take a three hundred dollar a month allowance and invest it in the first of all." Everybody don't earn that for an allowance. Everybody don't even get an allowance. Second of all, what you gonna do with three hundred dollars a month? None. For real estate. None. How's a 15 year old get? That's what they like. Yeah. That's what they like. Mingo was shook. As a kid, this man went from the top of the world to the fucking gutter. Him and his brother got beat for trying to steal bread because they had no money. Why people just <laughs> laughing at him? Look at this bad bitch and a nigga with a panda head. I'd be damned if I see a nigga with a panda head laughing at me. What? Hey, look at little bro. This is terrible. <laughs> and they mama end up getting sick. And she end up dying. No! So at this point, Dolph Mingo rightfully so hates his dad. Oh, yeah, As he yeah, should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This nigga's an idiot. And it's his fault. Yeah. This whole situation is his fault. Yeah, Cons- yeah. This is a prime example of consequences of your actions. Yeah, you turned your son ignorant. into a monster because you're stupid. Yeah, very you're broke, ignorant. you stink, and now your wife dead. It can't get no worse, right? Wrong. Wrong. The people end up finding them. And I don't even know if I can say this uh. word on YouTube, so I'm just going to bleep it. They <laughs> them. These people start going off on them. Oh, I kid you yeah. not, bro oh. right here said, hang that n- Got the rope right here. <laughs> and they just go off on them because they are celestial dragons. Yeah. They hate them. It don't matter if Doflamingo's dad is different. You're still a celestial dragon to them. The yeah. yeah. So you wait, see, you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. a white man in the slave quarters? Yeah. It don't matter. Oh, oh, master took so my wait. wife. So and when they move, I'm a bridge. You. Oh Jesus. <laughs> when they move, they stop earning money. Yeah, they gave everything up. They oh, so they had the house. Yeah, but once they got burned, yeah, they, they ain't got just, nothing. Yeah. yeah, people who treat commoners like garbage. Oh yeah, he's dumb. So at he's this dumb point, as hell. This was the breaking point for Dofi. Everybody just he's stops dumb. and just looks at him. They could feel this little nigga's anger from down there. Then bro just started oh, yeah. talking like a rabbit dog. <laughs> and then it happened. The man unlocked his cock. Oh my hot. god! And this little nigga yeah, knocked every single him. person out with his aura. With his aura. You just oh, had to use that word. Yeah. I'm not counting his this aura. as a charge. This is an act of self-defense. Also, if we keep it a ri- if we keep it a beam, bro. Right. We keep it a beam. Dolphy is a true crash out demon. He a crash out demon. I can see it. Because see and it. he a crash out from everything that happened. He that he that nigga was like, let's play a little game. I'm, I'm not eat. gonna lie. This is all justified. Oh no! It, it, well, so like no, him, no, 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 him, no, 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 him no, no, breaking, no, no, no. him breaking and crashing out, justified. Oh no, this isn't the crash out. What he does as an adult, I ain't saying that's no, no, no. This isn't even a crash out. This, this is. I do not use the word justified with Dovey. Oh, okay, my fault. Trust me, my fault. Trust. He like that. This- <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's they find out. His ass, hung his daddy ass and his brother. So even though this man broadcasted that he got murder on his mind, he getting let off the hook with this one. So after that life altering incident, Dofi goes to this run down ass shack and ends up meeting this nasty so he don't ass, ass snot nosed hunchback fat motherfucker. Oh my god, I hate this nasty ass. Ooh, 
Ooh. Oh, see, this is why you my dog, CJ. This is why you my dog. Nigga, treble. So this nasty SOB says, Hey, so I heard you <laughs> knocked out all those people with your hockey. Now, me and my boys will start glazing you if you pass my test. So Treble gives him a gun and the Ito Ito no me. And this man, Doflamingo, did not waste no time. He had murder on his mind. He went back to his dad Jesus and Christ. said, fuck oh. you all nigga, and oh. blew his brains out. Oh. Murdered his own father oh. in cold blood oh. right in front of his brother. And this now, right here- would it be a wrong to say that the old snot dudes, bro, is the good guy? Great guy? I'm just- uh. What do you mean? Good old I'm just asking questions. Mark. You know I'm what? I'm asking questions. <laughs> if we keep it a bean. <laughs> if we keep it a bean, right? To say he's a good guy in this situation <laughs> is not necessarily wrong. Now, wait before y'all get the type. And I hate the nigga too, but let's be real. <laughs> If your daddy is the reason your mama died and you went through torture and somebody gave you the reason to get your revenge on a man who ruined your life, by all means, he's correct for giving him a gun. But and a, and a fruit, right? Yeah, murdering daddy. your own father. So after Doflamingo murdered his father, he actually brought his head back to Marie's wall to try to get his status back. But they said, hell not nah, leave, peasant. So he ends up going Whoa. back to Treble. And him, Diamante, Pika, and Virgo said, hmm, let's glaze this little nigga to the ends of the earth. And from that day, the Don Quixote family was born. And ah, they was not okay. playing no games. These four niggas would do anything for Dofi. Take, for example, one day, Wait, Treble finds Dofi beat up. So he asked him, oh, my glorious. King, what happened? Ah, oh, man, some guys roughed me up. I wish they were dead. <laughs> okay. These Boom. dudes find the dudes that jumped them. And Trouble comes up to him Why and they says, chose to you follow him and not... left up Duffy, okay. right? <laughs> that little runt. We were just teasing him, that's all. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Hey, bro, we was just teasing him, I swear. Shut up. Oh, hey. oh. oh the stick. That, that's what I'm saying. Oh. By all means, by all means, He's not really a bad guy, you know. But he is using, hey, but the he is a bad guy. Yeah, he's he using is. a little kid's anger to get off on. And also, so and like, also, he he had his own plan. It's too. like a fetish. Yeah, he also had his own plan too. But like, he was not playing games with nobody. If Dolphy <laughs> wanted you dead, guess what? You're dying. If he wanted your turf, guess what? Get the packet. Gone. This man you're took gone. racketeering to another level as a 10 year old at that. And this was the wildest one. Diamante finds bro and says, Oh, my glorious king, what happened to your knee? Ah, oh, man, I just tripped on a crack in the road. Oh, and where's this crack what? exactly? And what? I kid you not, this nigga Diamante what? finds the crack in the road and says, Fuck. I might as well level the whole town. So that's what they did. They, they just use it. <laughs> and from that day forward, the Don Quixote this, family. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Oh, I, I, don't put this against him. You can't. I, I hope you're not putting this against him. This not him. Fear. Niggas yeah. clear the. It, it lucky was. It lucky was. He didn't even tell he him had, to blow he up. Had, he had. He knew what they were doing. He had the wherewithal of like, nigga, some shit happened. Some shit happened. Oh. But Dolphy saw Dolphy walking. Hide your kids, hide your wife, ain't nobody safe. The Dolphy trial. Okay, now he's Exhibit he on trial. A wrap up. Patricide. Racketeering. Mass <laughs> destruction. Multiple counts of murder. It Granted, these be. these weren't at his hands yet. Yeah, they weren't at his hands. But, bro. Don't, they was using I'm him. Telling, no, nigga. I'm telling you. You but about to see. Growing him. up and seeing that they that that he was raised like that. Now at this point, so he was, like. But let's keep it a bean. He was already raised like that beforehand. Oh, from the celestial. Yeah. So, so yeah, he was he was raised messed up. His daddy tried to take him out of it, ruined his life, made him go, made him a madman, and then you got people doing stuff like this. That is that's in yes. correlation to what yeah. he's already seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Basically, like, it's, he it's went. He, he grew up around people doing. So he grew up essentially like doing the right thing will never work out. Doing the right thing will never work out. Yeah, yeah. He grew up under under niggas being demons. When his family tried not to be, 
They got treated like demons. And then, yeah. And then he had demons that had his back. And now, demons, they got my back and it's working out. So I'm gonna be even more of a demon. Yeah. And they following yeah. me. It's crazy. Y'all alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit B, Joker. We now fast forward 30 oh, years 30. later. And at this point in time, Doflamingo is the most influential underworld broker in the game. And he is also one of the seven warlords of the sea. And before he, he became a warlord, in the you talking about also me, one of these yeah. seven. Yeah. yeah, I figured that's who he was talking about. Yeah. Warlords of the heat. sea. And before he became a warlord and they froze his bounty, this man had a whopping bounty of 340 million berries. Jeez. Now imagine if the nigga Jeez. wasn't a warlord. God knows how high that shit would be. But anyways, you we know. now focus our attention to Mock Town and specifically Bellamy. Now, as right. we know, before this even happened, Bellamy fought Luffy and got absolutely in demolished. One shot it to be precise. It looks like Bellamy and his crewmate, who I ain't gonna lie, I forgot his name. I think his name is like Sarquisa or Sharkeisha or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like they're fighting each other and having a falling out. But that is not the case at all. Because you see this nigga Dolphy sitting in the corner, controlling them with his string string fruit. And this what? man is pissed yep. off for obvious reasons. Because this nigga Bellamy is trash. He got one shot to buy a human condo. <laughs> and it was under Doflamingo's banner. The Bellamy pirates were under him. So obviously that is a oh, hit to his reputation. So yeah. Dolphy said, fuck it, you useless piece of shit. And controls old boy like yeah. a puppet and slices yeah. him. Had this man Bellamy begging <laughs> for his life. And what makes this kind of sad? Let me give y'all a flashback real quick. Back when Bellamy was a straight young bull, bro used to look up to Doflamingo. He wanted yep. to be just like him. I don't know why, bro yeah, was a terrible it, influence. Not enough must... work. You gotta remember, terrible influence is subjective. CJ, they're the bad guys. They are. They're pirates, man. They like, they're the bad they guys. They're guys. They they like, they came to me. <laughs> In the drip of the ore or some shit, but Doflamingo was his inspiration. But when they first met, Doflamingo clearly stated, if you ever lose under my flag, oh, my no. Jolly Roger, I'm gonna beat your ass and make you unemployed. And well, the rest is history. But of course, he's still, still begging like, but, but please, nah, just he, give he me told you, chance, my glorious king. He but Doflamingo looked you. at him like, Bellamy, how much you think my fit costs? Uh, <laughs> I can see him saying that. 56 million berries, broke ass nigga. I can see him saying that. Broke nigga alert. Broke nigga alert. So this man, Dofi, got up, walked away, and said, My fit costs more than your whole bounty. And I have mm. absolutely no use for broke ass niggas. And slices this nigga. Mm. Bro just assaulted his most notorious glazer while firing him at the same time. Well, ain't that a hell of a way to get fired on your day off? But we really don't even get to see a glimpse of how strong this dude is until the Summit War, aka okay, the grand okay. opening for the greatest donut shop of all time, Crispy. Hey, fuck you, nigga. Boy, fuck you for what you said about my ace, man. Oh, oh, my fault. Oh, well, I'm just speaking facts. Speaking facts? Hey, <laughs> Chuck. You gotta see me in Tekken, gang. You gotta see me. They turn your boy into a donut, bro. <laughs> they turn you. <laughs> they turn you. They turn him day. Jesus. So before the war even started, you already knew bro was on timing. I mean, look at this bloodthirsty ass nigga, bro, hitting the Uzi tongue. <laughs> But the first victim of this man's bloodlust was none other than Lil Lors, big ugly ass boy. So Lil Lors is just stomping on niggas, trying to make his way to save El hey, Donut. Dude. But this big boy El Donut a in brutal fashion too. So it started off with Kuma, which I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was about to roast the shit out this man, but I just caught up on the manga. And after reading that backstory, I, I don't want to roast you, bro. So even though you built like an egg with some damn chicken legs, you yeah. off the hook, my nigga. So anyways, Kuma shocks the shit out this nigga. Had this man or spazzing. And this man was so cut, but he said, hell no, I'm at least taking out somebody with me. So he ends up aiming for Dofi, and bro just looked at it like, really nigga? So bro ends up destroying the whole wall, but Brody ain't hit shit. Cause you see this flying, thinking he's Cardi. Hitting that bitch for the 
<laughs> he talking shit to him in that air too. What's wrong, pussy? The donut man is right there. And you knew Ors was cooked because mm-hmm. Dofi made this man mm-hmm. see his backstory. That's how you know your screen time over. Hey, uh, yeah, me yeah, oh. amputated, bro. Cut that big ass leg clean off. <laughs> he just laughing his ass off and saying, "This is what you get for being a dripless Neanderthal." And then Gecko Moria's hog Damn, back, holding pin built ass, hit him with that. I hate Gecko Moria. Hey, fuck, man. <laughs> And it was raps. Them boys murdered Lil Lords, but Doflamingo was not done racking up these murder charges. So later on, Viking Humpty Dumpty ends up pulling up and saying, Doflamingo, yeah, I'll say like, like this. <laughs> so, bro, run. Whoa. Hold Whoa. on, hold on. Good cuts already. Whoa, CJ. It better not be. pulling up and saying, Don't Flamingo, fuck you in that feathered ass coat, nigga. So oh. I thought he oh. said it. Oh. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Don't even think he's like, Whoa, nothing. Woo. Nothing. Whoa. Oh. Adam and tries to swing at him, but he stops. Nani? And Dofi just started talking shit, saying, What's wrong, Water Buffalo? Are you too mesmerized from all my sauce? And y'all already know what my he did. My with his streets. He wasn't moving an inch. So all these bit. other dudes end up running up. And yeah, a um, massacre Slice is about to ensue. Oh. Bro right here runs up. He gets his balls chopped off. And Dofi just started puppeteering this man and making him kill his own men. This was just tragic, but also despicable. You made this man kill his own men. That's fucked up, bro. And while bro is massacring these dudes, this man gives off one of the greatest speeches speeches I've ever heard and everything he said in this speech is a hundred percent facts now obviously I can't play the audio but I'm gonna text it out for us we're gonna do a quick English project real quick right, so here right, we go right, right. pirates are evil the mm-hmm. marines are righteous mm-hmm. these mm-hmm. terms have always changed throughout the course of history kids okay. who have never seen peace and kids who have never seen war have different have values, different values. Mm-hmm. those who stand mm-hmm. at the top <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's spitting He's spinning. Oh, okay. He's spinning. Awesome. Determine what's wrong and what's right. Mm. This very place is a neutral ground. Justice will prevail, you say? Of course it will. Whoever wins the war becomes Because Just think about it. Think about it. Mm. History's only written by the winners, bro. If we ain't pew, pew. Bro, it, be a different story. If you think about it, history is only written by the by winners. The winners bro. Bro. We hear the story from the niggas who won. Come on, dog. You think you think the UK talk about the taxation without representation? They threw our team in the home and they called it the Boston Team Boy. The f- America. <laughs> That's how they talk about us, man. <laughs> the UK was telling me about it, man. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Damn. Damn, God. Yeah, yeah, it's different stories, bro. This as a Japanese person who grew up in Japan, what they think of yeah. yeah. Motherfucker crazy. was cooking. Even though he's pure evil, he is actually speaking legitimate facts and you can't deny it. So after this, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I mean, all you gotta just do is win. Drip off a crocodile for the rest of the war. So I'm just translate this whole conversation for you. Oh, hell no. Gator boy, my nigga. I got a proposition for you. You got drip, I got drip. Uh-huh. You gets money, I get money. money. So what you say? Tag team? Man, f*** you, you pink feather flamboyant feminine ass n- Oh, nah, shut the f*** up with that fake ass gold claw. I know you got that shit from Timu. Mm. You, and f*** you too. You tobacco loving, mm. chain smoking mm. son of a bitch. Mm. Now, most of this fight sadly happened off screen, but hey, only Oda know how long this sauce off went on for. So fast forward all the way to the end of the war, and you just see explosions in the background. And the Jesus. reason why is because Doflamingo was jumping this 60% body fat eggplant because he basically had an assassination order from somebody up high. But Moria somehow lived. I, I don't know how, but it don't matter, nigga. That's still attempted murder. Now, Thanks. it's time to move three years later. And at this time, Doflamingo. Mm-hmm. While having his bounty frozen, was he collecting other people's bounties? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, that's what he was doing there. He was collecting a bounty. Most criminal enterprise is thriving. This nigga is anime El Chapo. And I mean, this man did everything from arms dealing and gun mm-hmm. running to massive imagine. drug labs. One in Punk Hazard and imagine. one in Dress Rosa producing smile fruits for Kaido and had none other than Caesar Clown cooking that shit up. And I kid you not, these smile fruits was 
fucking niggas up. For example, take a look at Wano. Smile Fruits hit Wano like crack in the 80s. Wow. This man is solely responsible for supplying wow. these niggas to cause a drug epidemic. Wow. Look Ooh, how this shit. Big, huh? they, they were fin apples for real. They were fin. What did they do to them? Like actually well, hey, do to them? Hey, let's just, let's just they had them tweaking. Let's just say. Let's just say. Matter of fact, I'm 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 gonna find an Earth equivalent of one of those apples. No, I just want to know what in the show that is. You about to enjoy life. However much left of it you got. bro. They thought these hoes was just regular apples. Hell no, these hoes was laced, and everybody was eating them, even the kids. And they lost all emotions except for smile and laughter. They basically ate Joker venom. Yeah, hell no. The Don Quixote family needs to change their name to the Don Quixote Cartel expeditiously. So now we end up catching up with Dofi at one of his Dofi parties because you know what they say. There ain't a party like a Dofi party. He gets a call from. Hazard saying, Oh, young master, the straw hats, law, and G5 is fucking with our product. Operations have halted. So, this man took extreme measures and basically said, Motherfucker, you think that's my problem? I got bitches here. Oh my god, Dofi, come in the water. Come on. <laughs> Hold on, ladies. The party's just getting come started. On. Motherfucker, blow up the. Hey, no, no, all right, no, no, such shit. No, such shit. No, such no, shit. Such, no, such shit. Uh, spit it out, bro. He's 10 feet. How big that eggplant? I ain't asking you. This at least a foot. At least. I mean, you brought the question to everybody's no, mind. Don't no, try to no, run no, from no. it. You said you started with no, no sus stuff. No. And you That's not where it's I was got going. if it's not, you gotta think not, about it. You gotta think was, about that's it. That's not where I was going. Either way, that's we not, here. We here now. No, because Okay, can I, I ask was, my question? No. You gotta think if he's ten foot tall and it's less than a foot. Your daddy disappointed you. Now you got to go dig him up and shoot him again. Because that's crazy. That's cr Imagine, bro. The ratios. You know what I'm saying? That's like any NBA seven-footer. You got to be slanging and banging. If you not... Well, if they're a seven-footer... You, know, you got to be slanging and banging. Because if you not... Enjoy that money, brother. Because you... Man... Island. I'll send somebody to pick up Caesar's bitch ass later. Now, okay. sadly, Doflamingo's plan to blow up the lab failed miserably because of <laughs> Caesar's dumbass. So this man was so pissed off, he said, fuck it. Niggas can't get shit done. So I'm gonna do it myself. So do this man yourself, went bro. slinged all the way to Punk Hazard. So later on, while G5 basically has the island under control, this man Dofi flies in saucy as fuck and just hits a superhero landing. And everybody in G5 is stunned. They like, oh, Oh my oh, oh, God, oh, oh, oh. trip, the aura, <laughs> And look at this 10 foot. That boy been mogging. That might be the name Morgan of the video. Mogging boy. He do, he do. Might be the name of the video. Do Flamingo is the God of War. <laughs> okay, Aaron. Right. <laughs> look at that scene. Yeah, he is. But nigga. That nigga got shoulders like Yo Yo 808. Mm. Towering no over neck. this man. Nigga, f being a drug lord, go to the league. And Dofi ain't waste no time. Bro said, The B go off? Hey. Hey. Okay, it's it's over. Go off? It's over. This man knocked out damn near every single soldier with Conqueror's With hockey. his arm. Didn't even lay a hand on him. Just hit him with the That sauce. was a crazy but dude. But he wasn't it. done. Jesus. He ends up webbing up all the other Marines' guns and made them oh, all aim shit. at each other. And this man elegantly Ooh. made them all Ooh. shoot each other while hitting Ooh. this saucy-ass flip. Oh, my goodness. He <laughs> just murdered I don't know how many people, but he did it in the and he's never the one to do it. So then there's one he's never the one to do it. Life. He like, Crazy. please, I have a family. Boy, just Fuck play dead. Family. They should be ashamed of your broke ass. Play dead, I know please. you don't get no paper. Oh, oh, oh. Be the niggas behind your back. You in the corner steppers. The corner the crunches. Roach killers. The roach killers. So what got so oh. bad? Smoker had to intervene. But my God, this man got washed. Look at his sorry ass. He can't even land a hit. This is why you're not making Admiral, buddy. Look at him. Bro tried to punch him in the dick. Duffy looked at him like, whoa, slow down there, you freaky f 
And this how you know this man's smoker is washed. This man already breathing heavy as hell, and they only been fighting for 30 seconds. But then some of Smoker's men end up coming and try to bail him out. But Bro tried to be chivalrous and save him, but ends up getting met with razor sharp oh. strings and ends up getting flung. And after Smoker got cooked, Dofi just got real disrespectful. He sat on Bro, grabbed oh, his face like in front of his about people. to beat your ass, and was about to kill him. But Smoker ended up getting the bail out of the century. Because Al Kiji pulled up and said, all right, big dog, we gonna have to stop. And you see, Doflamingo is a smart man because he knows he can't win this fight. You think he's gonna fight a formal admiral and get embarrassed? Hell nah. Bro said, I'll take my leave. I got bigger fish to fry. And that fish, of nah, course, so he that is strong? long the straw I'll hats. Keep, and I'll, especially- I'll that nigga. He that strong? I'll keep you that nigga, bro. So like, what's the stop to his little strength thing? Because it don't seem like much can, much can stop that right there. Law, because these niggas got generational beef. The, the dope dope beat trial. This fool here. It's transition. Be wrap up. <laughs> Assault and battery. All right. Murder. Or Mass murder. More. Arms trafficking. Drug, drug manufacturing. Possession and trafficking. Exhibit C. Exhibit C. All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for Exhibit C. Corazon. So. There is a reason uh -huh. why Law has mad beef with Dofi. And it all started 16 years ago. Now, when Law first came to Doflamingo, he was very sick. He had white lead disease and his whole family is dead because the world government decided to murder everybody in that town because they all had that disease. So they raccoon city okay. that bitch. Yeah. Now, Law didn't have that much yeah, time yeah, left to logical. live. But Dofi kept him around and said, there's a chance that you might be able to live if you get this devil fruit called the op-op fruit because you'll be able to heal yourself. Also, the fruit's busted. So Law ended up sticking around with him doing some piracy robbing some banks and of course catching bodies and dofi's main objective was basically to groom law to become his right hand man now here's where everything goes to shit corazon aka doflamingo's brother rosinante basically told him hey little nigga you got d in your name and if dofi figures out you got d in your name he gonna kill your little ass because if you got the big D in your name, you are a mortal enemy of the celestial dragons. And uh, so everybody who has like a, it's like um, it's from a certain family. Not really a family. It's like I I, I forget how to per, per, like explain it. I guess you could say like the will of God essentially. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I I, I I forget the actual um breakdown because it's Monkey D Luffy. Um, uh, basically, he was chosen, and they didn't like none of them. Basically. Yeah, anybody who has that is 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 no yeah. good. And also, Corazon is a narc. Hey, I'm a rat. I ain't no snitch. He is a <laughs> undercover marine trying to take down his evil brother. So oh. you can kind of see what this is. These two are basically opposites and the what oh. ifs of a tragic outcome. Okay, Don't Flamingo yeah. wants to burn the fucking world because fuck everybody. And Corazon wants to do good in the world and basically stop his brother because he's a crazy bastard. So Corazon ends up taking Law around for like six months trying to find a cure for his disease and getting him away from Dofi. Now, while this was going on, Dofi called them and said, come back to the ship. We got a lead on the op-op fruit and we can cure Law's disease. Now, with this in mind, Corazon decided, let's just go steal it so we can cure your disease and go into hiding. So Corazon gets the information from the Navy to, to where the fruit actually is. So later on, they end up getting to the island and Corazon ends up stealing the fruit. But at the expense of getting shot the fuck oh! up. So after bro got shot up but somehow survived, he made go, Law go, eat go, the go. fruit. And after that, he told him, this is some important intel I need you to give to the Navy that's on this island right now. So while Law went to go search for a Marine to give the note to, he found one, but the wrong one. Because the Marine he gave it to was Virgo. Dofi's undercover agent in the oh. Marines. So Law brought Virgo all the way back to Corazon, and Virgo was like, what the fuck? Corazon? Oh, you narc ass nigga. And Virgo ended up oh, reading the intel and kicks his face in. And Virgo did not hold back. He beat oh, the shit out of black Corazon. Dynamite? And then after that, he beat Law's ass. So then after they get their ass beat, 
Dofi arrives on the island, of and this man is dripped did. out of his mind in piss because his own brother was a rat. And Doflamingo knew something was off too Because those six months that Corazon was gone The Navy was off they ass And every time Corazon was there The Navy was there so it was all over for his little bro. Dofi ends up setting up his birdcage over the island so nobody can leave. And he just went on a rampage until he found his brother, killing literally anybody and everybody that was in his way. So later on, when the family finally finds Corazon, they jump the hell out of this man. They didn't take him easy either. Piss out of him and play baseball with his body. Having oh, fun. Did that nigga dirty. This, why would you not warn him of a mole? Oh, he didn't know. know. He, he didn't know the mole. Yeah, he didn't know. Dang it! Yeah, he didn't know. Outsmarted yeah. by the bad guy. Yeah, it was a. He didn't know. Dang. It was just horrible. This man Gladius went to his body and said, "How dare you betray the family of you, rat ass nigga?" So after they jumped him, Doflamingo Flamingo came up to him and said, "Cause my baby oh, brother, yeah. a fucking narc." <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. Corazon, you know how hard it is to kill your own flesh and blood again. And my God, it, it pains me to do it. But do me a favor, baby brother. Oh, whoa. And say a load of pops for me. Whoa, whoa he wanted to This whoa. man, Doflamingo, dumped about 10 bullets in this nigga and murdered Purposely. his he didn't own even need little that. brother in cold blood. He didn't even blood. need that. Iced him. The, the Dofi tribe. Iced him. Exhibit C wrap up. Piracy. Grand More. larceny. More. Murder. More. Mass murder. More that. Fratricide. Exhibit D. Y'all ready, ladies Dofie. and gentlemen? It is now time for Exhibit D. The usurpation of Dress Rosa. Now, Doflamingo, as we know, is the king of Dressrosa. But how did he become king? Yeah, <laughs> you might need to sit back for this one. So, 10 years before the present, Dressrosa was a very peaceful nation that knew no types of war and had a honest mm -hmm, king mm -hmm. named King Riku. Now, the people loved King Riku. Yeah, they glazed this man to the end of the earth. But sadly, this would change in a single night. So, on that tragic night, Doflamingo flew to the king's private quarters. So, he pulled up, woke this nigga up, and said, don't even try calling for help, or I will slit oh, your buddy. fucking it's throat so right buddy. now. It's so, just... Dofi basically explained to the king that this land, matter of fact, this whole country belongs to me, and I finally come back to take back what's rightfully mine. So the thing is that the Don Quixote family used to rule over Dressrosa about oh, yeah. a good 800 years ago. Till they mm -hmm. abandoned it and became celestial dragons. And now Dofi okay. is back to claim what's his. Now he gave the king a ultimatum. He basically told him, we can either A, I will take over this entire kingdom and kill everybody, or okay. B, you can buy my kingdom for 10 billion berries. Whoa! So what's it gonna be, yo, nigga? Genocide or run your pockets? So obviously the king had no choice. He had to run his pockets, but he ain't have enough money. Yeah, so for the of sake of the did. kingdom, he had to send out his soldiers and beg the people for money. And obviously the people are confused. And it wasn't They're enough. Like, Fucking real. It wasn't enough. We just paid our taxes a month what? ago. Yeah, man, this is some bullshit. I can't even pay my child support. He turned them against him. <sighs> Smart. The nigga, the nigga's an evil Smart. genius. Smart. He is. That's he's evil a problem. Genius territory. The nigga's a problem. Yeah, he's a big problem. Cause that's crazy. I just got pregnant the other day. How am I supposed to take care of my child? So King Riku had to get on the big screen, get on all fours, and said, "Please, we're broke. I know it's shit. Y'all just paid taxes, but." We need this goddamn money. So the people said, you know what? Something oh. must be wrong. Our glorious king needs help. So every single citizen they had emptied every dime they had because they trusted their king because he ain't ever done them wrong. So everything seems to be fine. Oh, they paid wrong. off Do Flamingo, wrong. and they should be scot-free, right? because no, he's a scumbag. In the he's distance, scumbag. you see this man, King Riku, coming at them on a horse. So obviously the soldiers think, ah, King Riku, we got the money. You didn't have to pull the to way take out, them out But this man, King Riku, is crying No, 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 no. I beg your pardon? And the king starts slapping. 
Oh, he's that nigga evil. Controlling, he's puppeting him. That nigga evil. No. That's what I'm saying, bro. You don't just you don't just become that. He's attacking people, right? Who are innocent. Just how his family was attacked. And they were innocent. So he's hurting people. The who way had, he was hurt. The nigga was maniacal. He was a and he only chose his village because they used to be owned by, by his, his family. Playing people and blowing shit up. And you already know what's going on. In the shadows. Do yes. Flamingo is controlling this man and making him kill his people. So Dofi didn't tell the king, but there was a option C, and that was to do both genocide and to do both. Of course, and the king wasn't the only one getting controlled. Dofi decided to control the oh. soldiers as well and made them slaughter everybody. And they didn't spare nobody. Look at nobody. this. This is a mama oh. and her son. Yep. And this nigga oh. said, "Pay your taxes." Look at this poor couple. This brother just got done baking at the bakery with all this cake. Just for this yeah, man, King yeah. Riku, to come and blow both they backs out. And this uh, went on for the whole night. Now, here's oh, the part that's going to make you sick. Do Flamingo and his crew are just up here watching this. And when the time was right, he said, All right, boys, it's showtime. These niggas pop down and knock out these soldiers, getting everybody. Oh. They saved the day. They're evil. They're crazy. crazy. He pop. See what I'm saying? If it wasn't so long, See, I'd watch it. If it I'm wasn't saying? so long, I'd watch it. See what I'm saying? This is clean. This is a great story. Great. If it wasn't so many episodes, I'd watch it. Jesus Christ. Body's attention. And Do Flamingo says, Greetings, everyone. My name is Don Quixote Do Flamingo. And I've come to save you. <laughs> <laughs> now this is a straight Homelander ass move. Yeah, very Bro much made so. the king and his guards kill their own people just to come in and save the day. And this was the tragic part. He controlled the king and said, "Come on over. Make sure you're his own for the demise." Camera. So Bro jumps down and smacks the shit out this nigga on live demise. TV in front of everybody. And just off of that, this man just committed the greatest PR stunt of all time. Because the people are like, oh, oh my God, he, he, he saved us. Yeah, hell yeah, brother. And they chanted this man's name throughout the night while hoisting the king's body in the air like a trophy. And that night, Doflamingo Jesus usurped Christ. the throne and became the king of dress. He's Rosa. smart as hell. Now, after Doflamingo and became evil. king, he evil. started to do some even more evil shit. Yeah. For an example, using sugar to turn damn near half the population into toys and making their huh? families forget about them, forced these tantata low niggas to basically huh? be slaves and they start serving them the apples. Had some of the old wow. soldiers become gladiators and forced them to basically kill each other. And apparently, he did something with Viola. I don't even know if this is true, but a lot of people say it is. So, uh, I'm just leave this here. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god. Oh, Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 like just wait on Yeah, it. yeah, you like, can't, you know what I'm saying? It's easy to say shit's justified, but it's, it's not. It's no longer. No, so it was it it open a, just, open a blick on your dad is even that. Even that was crazy. Yeah. It's only justified if it's 12 inches or more. Huh? God the, the dope do trial. trial. Uh, okay. Exhibit D wrap up. Blackmail. Genocide. Usurpation, brainwashing, slavery. Slay. Exhibit E. <gasps> Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for Don't our hate final the player, hate the game. Exhibit Jesus E, Christ. the heavenly demon. We now set our sights on an island called Green Bed, just off the coast of Dress Rosa, and we are observing a trade, well, what was supposed to be a trade, between Law and Doflamingo. Now, Law mm -hmm. took Caesar as hostage after Punk Hazard to get some leverage on Doflamingo and make him leave the Warlords so he would lose his Navy immunity. And also, Dofi right. needs Caesar to make some more of his Smile product. But tragically for Law, this plan failed miserably because Doflamingo was two steps ahead. Because this man used his Celestial Dragon 
wagon leverage on the government and falsify the whole story about how he left the warlords when in reality he didn't and he had this man oh. law shook he ain't know what the fuck to do his whole plan blew up in his face so law was like ah shit well I'm just skedaddle. So this man Law got the running while Doflamingo was <laughs> hawking his ass down. And it didn't help that Fuji Torres ass was here trying to drop meteors on the nigga. And this man Law was fighting for his life in this jungle. Look at Dofi come behind him. Nigga finger sniped him. Brought this man Law to his knees. Then he came down and told him, I got that. You ain't going nowhere, little nigga. I've been waiting to kill your ass for 13 motherfucking years. And look at Dofi, bro. This nigga think he's Spider-Man. Out here just webbing shit up and throwing it at him. And I don't oh even know God. how long this game of tag lasted for because we know how that dress rosa pacing was good god but anyways bro they ended up getting to the beach and while dofi's chasing law he ends up hearing a loud ass scream and it was from the sunny from chopper nami and brooke being loud as shit and dofi just looked over there with a big old smile on his face like oh law you dumb fucked up now so this man flew over to the that ship posted up on him and dofi was ready to make the sunny the titanic but out of nowhere here comes final form simp sanji out here yelling at this man like stay away from my nummy swan like no oh, come on she not gonna let you hit but anyways dofi did not take this fight seriously at all look at him he got this big ass grin on his face then this man threw out Bro, his ear to ear for style points and told him, ear to ear. There, buddy? let's not burn the coat this shit costs more than your life Bro had this man Sanji cooked in one hit. But Sanji started thinking to himself while he was free falling. Oh, if I beat Doflamingo, Nami Swan might let me hit. No. So this man no. Sanji got a second win. Yeah. <laughs> No, don't say it. Just, <laughs> Kevin Gates said talking to Ruby Rose just die about the life out of this man. But Dofi just put out his hand and said, Time out. Bro had this man Sanji just stuck in the air. And bro just looked at him and told him, The f I just told you about of my coat. I already told your ass this shit costs more than your life. So this man charged up his overheat and he was ready to kill Sanji. But right when Dofi was about to hit him, here come Law with the mm, and he ended up teleporting Lord. Dofi away from Sanji. And you could tell this man Dofi had the intent to kill this man because he had to throw the attack out and it landed all the way back Ooh. in Dress Rosa and just cut a building in half. Yeah, buddy, that's attempted murder. You tried to put this simp six feet under. So this man Law had to take this miniature big back big mom as a hot Hostage so the straw hats could escape but later on they end up having a standoff on this bridge and i kid y'all not this was not a fight this was a sheep coming to the slaughter i mean look at this man law he running for his life it again don't, yeah, don't flamingos just cutting the bridge in half and yelling at him like what's you wrong pussy i thought you was gonna spin back the cora but you still a bitch but law at least tried something he tried to throw all the debris at him but dofi just cut it to pieces then law tries to come behind him but dofi hits a perfect parry dodges the attack mm. then shatters this mm. man's jaw with his foot and the beating just got worse from here this was like a parent whooping their kids ass for being disobedient oh. as hell i mean look at this he came down and kicked the shit out of him again then just started spamming bullet strings oh, at him oh. even took out his legs bro was literally yeah. rolling around what do you think at a time like this, this bro what do bruh. you think i bit out more than i can chew uh, why uh, i do this uh, why i do this to myself oh it's over for me why i do this to myself imagine this what his brother was thinking oh it's over for me oh his brother knew it was over Oh, one. As soon as he walked up, his brother knew it was over. Yeah. yeah. Dope, bro, dope. If I if I shot my daddy, you think I won't shoot you? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It wasn't even the you're worst right. part. Do Flamingo walked up to him, lifted up his hand, and he slapped this nigga Woo! across Dress Rosa. And oh god, this was probably this man's most savage moment in the whole series. Law is already cooked, but Don yeah, Flamingo done. decided. Remember when you had lead poisoning, Law? Let's see if you remember how that felt. And he started dumping bullets of lead in him. And look at this freaky ass nigga out here licking the blood. Hell no! Uh, and Law was done. He should have been dead. The amount of plot armor Law had in this arc is. Why ridiculous because this is not the first time bro should have died as we will see later so is now we fruit? fast forward a fat see. minute all the oh way to sugar God. God. I think, I think and all the toys yeah. turn into people again and the whole population turns on doflamingo because they realize wait a minute this nigga's an asshole he turned half the population into toys brainwashed us and committed yeah. a coup d'etat get this nigga out of here so then the one-legged demon kiros came in and cut off this man's Ooh. head and everybody's in shock everybody like oh my god don't just died to a side character?
Psyker? Psyker? Psych. Niggas thought it was gonna yeah. be that easy. Yeah, this man could use string clone jutsu. So he got behind heroes and what kicked the heck? roof off of the palace. Good God, this man got some strong ass legs with them fucking leg hairs he got. So then here come Luffy trying to be a hero, even though he's a terrorist. Out here trying to hit that man <laughs> with that Jet Gatlin. But the clone came behind him. Blue is back out. Then Doffy looked at him, cocked though? back his fist and told him, get the f What? Is Luffy being a terrorist? Yes. Okay, for sure. Luffy is not the good guy. Like, granted, he's the protagonist of the show, but people. The niggas are pirates! He's not the good guy. They're pirates, bro. Granted. I thought, I thought he was granted, the good pirate. Granted, he does look out for people, right? But like like Dolphy said, it's about who the story was written about. Yeah. Granted, I'm rooting for Luffy. Be the king of the pirates, nigga. Fuck the law. But that nigga literally, he's breaking the law. If y'all love Luffy, y'all should love every Hellcat drug nigga out there, bro. Let's keep it a beam. Okay. If you love Luffy, right. every nigga in the hood that drive a Hellcat and kill nigga should be okay. Oh, wow. Wow, that was crazy. And so that's <laughs> that was crazy. That was insane. Fuck off my property, broke ass nigga. Hit Luffy so hard, probably made him even more stupid in the head. So he made Pika throw everybody off the cliff. And at this point, it was over for everybody in Just Rosa. This man set up the birdcage, got oh, on the yeah. big You're screen, done. and said, People You're of done. Just Rosa, I'm just gonna go ahead and let y'all know this now. I have fucking hated all you stinky ass peasants. Nigga's a dog, but you'll be told, I fuck my nigga Luffy. Him being the tears is subjective. Subjective. For the law. For the law. Okay, for sure. Ever since I came to this fucking island. So now all you broke ass niggas, you go fuck yourselves. So let's play a game. Shit. Bring it on. kill any of these bitch ass niggas on this board. Especially that long nosed Pinocchio nappy headed ass fuck. I will make you rich. What do you say fuck me for? Oh. You also have 24 hours before I destroy this fucking island. So this man, Dofi, and nobody getting out. Chaos. This man started Damn. another genocide just because he got pissed off. So now it was finally time for the Malice at the That's Palace. The palace. Uh -oh. Piece edition. Uh oh. Luffy versus Doflamingo. Oh, I forgot. And Bellamy's here. Bruh. Bro was emotionally abusing this man the entire arc. We all know that Bellamy's this man's biggest glazer. So Dofi decided to use this man as a puppet. <sighs> Look at Luffy. Bro tried to kick him. And Dofi just used Bellamy's face as a human shield. He was straight up abusing this man. Just let me rest. Wait, why you use flight? Why you use flight? Why you use flight? Wait, for which part? Bellamy's face is a human shield. He was straight up abusing this nigga. Then is it for the, is it for the face? I think or? it's for the face. Oh, was Flight being abused? Flight! No, I think Flight. it's for the face. This no. was abusing you, Clint? I mean, technically, yes, but no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no that's he not. brought out some strings and said, dance, nigga. Go fuck up that walking condom for me. But Law and Luffy was just mad at Dofi for just watching him in that chair. So they hit that man with that Red Hawk team up. And Luffy really mm. punched the shit out this oh. man. This is the first time you see bro actually hurt. Bro mad as hell thinking in his head like, motherfucker, hit me. what just did he get hit he by hit this nigga me. in them broke ass sandals? Well, that man Dofi said, hell nah, you ain't getting away with that one, buddy. So bro started spamming them bullet strings oh. at Luffy. So oh. his stupid ass flying again. Then he decided to stab the shit out of Law. Bro oh. said, sit your bitch ass down before I beat the shit out you again, boy. Then he hit this man Luffy with a nasty combo. Bro launched him in the air, grabbed him with his strings, then yanked him all the way back to Bellamy, who he was controlling, and sliced the Oh my goodness. These boys was really getting cooked by a man with a flamingo coat and some short ass capris. So Dofi kicked Luffy's he's face taking in no the game, damage. separating him and Law and making Luffy fight Bellamy. And my god, Law. This man took probably the worst beating in the series Again? right here. Just look at this. Dofi ended up grabbing Law, then makes them both somersault, crashing into the ground, and amputated this nigga oh. Law. Oh. Another case where Law should be dead in this arc. Oh. But this next part is really when Law should have been fucking dead. Dofi walks up to him, puts the gun up to him, and tells him, die like the broke ass nigga you are. Then just started shooting this man over and over and over. It's and gotta over be the proof. Again. Cause why he, shot he ain't so many bullets in him? He kept on pulling the trigger, thinking he had some more. And again, this is another instance of where Law should have died in this arc. Nigga cheated death three times just for him to get up and hit Dofi with a gambling knife. Bruh. 
and Law really thought he was him right here. He was talking crazy to Doflamingo and saying, <laughs> yeah. This is my get back for Cora, nigga. So he hits Doki with a counter shot, basically with mm. all the power he has left. Mm. And Law think he done killed him. You ain't did, you ain't no, did it. This man you rose know. from the dead like the Undertaker. And you want to know how this man survived that attack? He stitched his organs together with his string. Nigga gave himself surgery mid-fight. So Doflamingo is standing over Law about to... A dog. He's a dog. He's a dog. My favorite character I've ever been introduced to. Not gonna lie to you. He's my favorite. That a dog. Evil or not. That's a dog. That a dog. That's a god. Right that there. A dog. Oh my god. Smash this man's head in and get a fatality. But Hold here it. come Luffy bailing out Law. Nigga, how many times is Law gonna get bailed out this fucking arc? Like, dog, you should be dead. This you nigga Law gotta be a cat or some shit. Cause he gotta have like nine lives or something. So here comes that Nika Luffy himself. Bro kicked off them dusty, busted, broke ass sandals and transformed into this work. fat ass balloon. So obviously when hell? Flamingo first saw Gear 4, he was laughing his ass off. Blood was like, what Gear 4? That's is Gear this? 4? Am I supposed to be scared of you, nigga? You turned into a balloon. But Luffy was done playing games. He punched the living shit out of Ooh, Luffy. Woo! This man flew all the way down to the streets. And I ain't gonna lie, Doflamingo started getting dog walked. This man ain't felt so much pain since he was getting beat as a child. So this man, Doflamingo, went to his last resort. He said, fuck it. I'm already destroying the country, so I might as well turn everything into string. So he ends up using his awakening and just throwing buildings of just string at him. Mm. But Luffy still did not care. He flew over to this man and hit him with that Leo Bazooka. Mm -hmm. And Dofi went to flying and just pinned in the mountain. This fight should have been over right here. But nope. The plot kicked in. Because Luffy ran out of time on Gear Force. The man Aww. literally deflated right before he was about to finish him. And this gave Dofi enough time to no, recover. And no. this man was more pissed off than ever. <laughs> he went That's on a rampage looking for this man Luffy. Bro started killing everybody. It got to the point where if you got in this man's way, you died. You're done. Then he started moving the birdcage in closer. He was about to wipe the whole island off the map. So then here comes oh the my God. trying to do something against this 69 guy. Was that, nece not was that necessary, animators? Bro, that's, well, how, that's how most of the women in One Piece are drawn. Mega mahogany mockers, bro. You won't waste no time on this. Woo. You know what? Woo. I think that started it. Woo. Yeah, that started it for me. One Piece? Oh, for you. Yeah. Because I'm thinking about it. <laughs> That's what yeah. started your love for mahogany knockers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in closer. For he was about like, to wipe the whole island it, off the map. So then he was the that wasn't necessary, trying bro. Trying to do something against this 69 god. And I'm not even gonna waste no time on this. Y'all already know what happened. She got beat the fuck up. I don't even know why she tried this. Like Shorty, no. You are her Ooh. getting your head smashed in. And then look and at this. And they keep their you know hanging saying? her by the string. Oh, oh. no, nah, nigga. My nigga, this is harassment. Nah, buddy. You're done. You're done after <laughs> this. We know you did it. The hung about had it, you to be true. Saying. Especially after this scene. You was not. But for what? They should have had her hanging <laughs> like this. <laughs> they should have had, had her. Bro, that this, would be. This thing is that's crazy. talking points, bro. This that's thing. something the boys would do. This nigga is sick. I was, I, they should have had her. Because they kept they they they, they Toby, like. Toby. Toby. Ratio. No Toby. matter what part of the screen she was on, they Toby. kept their ratio. So Toby. they should have, you yeah. know. It was the focus. Like us, buddy. This image is staying exactly like it is. And then you tried to make Rebecca kill her dog. Now, this man, Doflamingo, is pure evil. This man is a sick ass nigga. So thank God Luffy finally came over and he said, hell nah, your ass is going to jail. So oh, he charged more, up that King Kong gun and yelled at that nigga, take your freaky ass to impel down and blasted this man, Dofi, to the crust. And it was over. Anime Diddy was finally defeated. Damn. So after this, they locked this man up in the depths of Impel Down. And this man should never get out again. He but let's never, be honest with ourselves. Never. Sometime sooner or later, this nigga's yeah. getting out. Somebody gonna make the call to Jayoma. And with oh, that, me. ladies and gentlemen, it's with all these damn him. charges, this is why this man Her is resume. on this round table. There should be no discussion. This is one sick ass nigga. So yeah, uh, the faded Doflamingo video. <laughs> we finally did it. Now y'all know damn well what might happen to this. So uh, hey, yeah. fingers crossed. Uh, like the video for good luck, I guess. Hey, yep. hey hopefully we make it through. But anyways, man, hope y'all enjoy. And until great, then, great, I'm great out episode. This great episode. Yeah, Long w, the, w. The w.